Hi everyone, today I'm here doing a tag and it is the 15 weird questions tag. I just thought about it and I should have read the questions and thought of my answers, but it's too late now, I'm already filming. So I was tagged by my friend Meg, Must Love Shoes, which I will link down below. She's really, really gorgeous and she's funny. She's hilarious actually. So go check out her video and her channel and go subscribe to her as well. And I will just get on with the questions anyway. I'm feeling in a weird mood for this tag. What's a nickname only your family calls you? Um, I don't really have a nickname. Let's look at this Snapchat. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really have a nickname, so I don't know. They don't really call me anything. Crystal. Dean calls me Mouth, like Draco Malfoy, but Mouth meaning Mouth as in Mouth as in sweet person. So, does that count? What's a weird habit of yours? <sighs> a weird habit. Oh, I'll tell you a weird habit is when <laughs> a weird habit is when for work I have to write letters and when I copy and paste a section into there I know that I just need to press enter once and there'll be a space after what I paste in there but for some reason I've got to have two gaps so I enter enter paste it in and then press delete straight away I don't know why it's just an OCD thing and it probably makes no sense to anyone but I have to have like I just can't have one space and then paste it in because it'll look like there won't be enough room but there really is. Is that a weird habit? <laughs> I don't know. Do you have any weird phobias? No, I think just normal f oh I don't really like clowns or people like dressed up as things. Like that kind of scared me. I like in high school it was really bad. Like when I went to Disneyland, it was just freaking awful. I think I somehow had to get over it there, and since then I've not been so bad. But when like I'm walking down a mall or something, and someone's dressed up handing something out, I will walk on the other side. I do not want to have any contact with them. I do not want them to chase me or anything like that. Um, is that a weird phobia? What's a song you secretly love to blast and belt out when you're alone? I don't know, any ballad, I guess. Like, I've been freaking singing in my head Let It Go by Demi Lovato. Like, that's just current time, so, but there's no song that I secretly love. What is one of your biggest pet peeves? My biggest pet peeve is something that, there's a few things that Dean does. He freaking bites his nails and his cuticles and he just does it. Like, even if we're like, we're in a, a meeting at the bank and he's there like biting his nails and I'm like, cut it, cut it, cut it. Don't do that. That is just the worst. And and do you know what he does? Like in the car, he'll bite it and then he'll like spit it out. I'm like, you are putting your DNA all over my car. Like your DNA from your fingernails, your cuticles. Like that's disgusting. Like you know. And he also does this thing where like he'll talk. He'll like talk really fast and then he goes like that. And I, don't, I never noticed it until like, I don't know, a month ago. And since then, I've just been like... Oh my god, I'm going to stab him. <laughs> but I don't know how I'm going to get over those things because they're just things that he does. Do you know what a pet peeve of mine is? When like I have like ratty bits here that stick out and I just go like that, which is what I just did before. That's a pet peeve. What's one of your nervous habits? This one I couldn't really think of anything apart from what Meg said is I guess when I'm nervous I don't really like to look people in, in the eye. If I'm really, really nervous I'll shake and... I don't know, I could have a panic attack, I don't know if I'm really nervous. Um, I do get sweaty palms, but that's nothing weird, like that's just how your body reacts anyway, so. What side of the bed do you sleep on? Well, I would sleep on the left side, yeah. And I've, oh, yeah, I've always slept on the left side. I think it's just because when I lived by myself it was close to the door, and Dean actually slept on the left side, but he gave it up for me, which was really nice. So maybe he can still bite his nails. What was your first stuffed animal and its name? It was a pound puppy, so it was a dog, and his name was Doggy. <laughs> and I still have him at home. Um, I don't know if anyone remembers those pound puppies. I don't know if I even have a photo of him, but he's probably about this big, and he's like, he's long and flat, and like his neck is all like floppy, and he's, he had like little spots, and they'd faded, and he's pretty gross now, but yeah. It was a dog and doggy. What's the drink you always order at Starbucks? Well, I don't go to Starbucks. Um, I don't drink coffee. 
So I don't know, I guess I'd have a tea or a hot chocolate or something, but I did have a hot chocolate from Starbucks one time in Adelaide and I didn't like it at all. So I'd probably get an English breakfast tea or something. What's the beauty rule you preach but never actually practice? Um, I don't know. The worst thing would be dirty brushes. Like honestly, look at, look at all my brushes. They're so dirty right now. That would be it, washing your brushes because I like wait until there's no brushes left to wash them. And so they're gross. Yeah, I guess that'll be it. Which way do you face in the shower? Well, like Meg said, if I'm washing my hair, I'll face away. But I guess otherwise, like if I'm washing my face, I'll face in. Um, oh yeah, it kind of you rotate kind of thing, I guess. I don't know. It's a weird question. What's your favorite comfort food? Food that's bad, but you love to eat it anyway. Well, any fast food really. Pizza, KFC, McDonald's, but I do really love Thai, and I know it's bad, but like I do really, really love that. We have this amazing Thai restaurant that is just so good, but yeah, that would be bad too, but you know, all the fast food and chocolate, but I love chocolate pudding. I forgot to mention that in my TMI tag. I love chocolate pudding with vanilla ice cream. It is amazing, like those self-sourcing ones. Whoa. Yum. Time to sleep. What are you actually wearing? Well, lately I've been wearing my Mother's Day present. I'm going to show you. So Coco or well, Dean got me a Mother's Day present and it is this. And a little kitty and it says unicorn in training. And it's just a nighty and it has these little sleeves and it's really good for winter because then I can have my arms out and they won't like get freezing. But I just love it. I've been wearing it all week. I should probably wash it actually. Okay, now for the fun part, I tag. Oh my God, I bet I'm gonna forget someone. I tag Amber from Amber Lauva, Jordy from Jordy's Beauty Spot, uh, Rachel from Rachel Lee, um, Brittany from Brittany Lee Sanders. I tag uh, Jess from Jess Bunty. I'm gonna tag Caroline, but I know she won't do it and she probably won't even watch this. <laughs> I'm gonna tag Emma from Emma's Rectangle. Michelle from Beauty Life Michelle. I'm gonna tag Olivia from uh, X Live Loves Makeup. That is such a tongue twister, Liv. <laughs> Katrina from Infectious Beauty. I tagged Danny, but I don't think she'd do it either. <laughs> Kelsey from Legally Kelsey. Also, Mel from Miss Tango 2. I don't know, I'm just gonna list like a whole bunch of people down below. So go check out their channels and wait for their tags to come up and subscribe to them if you haven't already. Also, if you want to see this makeup look, I will link it down below. It is my glamorous fair skin tutorial. So I don't have any tan on at the moment, so souls. But that's it for the tag. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.